All right, so now we will try to um, reflect this shape over a pair of parallel lines, uh, line M and N. Okay, so this is our shape, and we will first reflect it over M, and then eventually reflect it over N. All right, so let's start. Um, if we want to reflect a shape over a line, we need it to do it point by point, and so we can start with E. We need to find the vertical distance between E and the line, and that would be from E to the line, that's two units, right? One, two. So therefore, uh, the reflection of E will be two units on the other side of this line. So this is one, two. Okay, so therefore your E would line, E prime would land in there. Okay, so let's put a name on that. It would be a good idea for you to um, name the um, the reflection point as you go along because it's really easy to get confused when all the points are plotted in. All right, so let's start with uh, let's continue with uh, vertex F, and so vertex F is one, two, three, four. That's four units. Uh, from line M so therefore we will count four units on the other side of line M because we are reflecting so one two three four line M would end up here okay so let's uh, label line uh, point F prime right so there we go this is your F prime now let's do uh, uh, vertex G and that's one unit so therefore, the reflection will be one unit on the other side of line M, which is this point here. Okay, and let's label that. That will be your G prime. Okay, there you go. Now, why don't we move this um, coordinates here so it's easy for us to see that when we connect the, the, the points. Alright, so let's connect this points. So we have that to G prime and to E prime. And of course we can change the color so we can see the differentiation. Alright, so now so the green triangle is the first reflection of your uh pre-image. Now eventually we said that we wanted to reflect it over um pair of parallel lines. So since we have reflected this shape over M, now we're ready to reflect the new shape over N. Okay, so let, it's the same concept. Each point, we will find out how far it is from line N. Okay, so let's start with point uh, E prime, and that is one unit to the left of line M. So therefore, the reflection would be one unit to the right. The reflection is always on the other side of of the line all right so this is your e double prime and we will call name that one in a bit all right let's start with uh let's continue with g prime g prime is two units to the left of line n so therefore the reflection would be two units to the right okay so this is two units to the right okay that will be your g double prime and f you notice f prime f prime is on the right side of line n so therefore, the reflection would be on the other side of line M. There you go. So now we're ready to connect those uh, points. There you go. And let's color this. Let's change the color. Uh -huh. and let's see. Let's change that to... Uh, maybe yellow. There you go. Alright, so there you go. That is your reflection. And of course, you can name this point. Um, let's name this. This will be your uh, E double prime. Okay, so this will be your E double prime here. This one would be your Um, G double prime. I'm just showing you another way of uh, labeling. But basically, when these points are reflected twice, this that's why we call them double prime because they were reflected twice from the original 
uh, pre-image. Okay, and of course we have the F double prime. And there we go. All right, so that's how it is done.